You Mark Andreessen wrote a, a blog post. I, I read that, yeah. What did you think of that? He said pretty much everything's going to be okay. He did say there was some dangers, but he said mostly not. I mean, he also said AI, AI is just uh, statistics and computer code. and That's not true. Uh, that it, it is true now. Right. It is true now. Okay. Uh, s simply, if I had told the Pharaoh, you remember how those, uh, you know, the, the Pharaoh would have a, um, a, car a chariot hmm, that has 12 horses in front of it. That's what you see in, uh, you know, in carved on the walls. Hmm? Basically, what he was doing is he was going to his engineers and saying, give me more horsepower. Right. Yeah. If I had told him, that there will be a Bugatti Veyron or whatever, uh, you know, that has a thousand horses in it, would he have ever imagined it? You couldn't, be you couldn't believe that you could put a thousand horses into an internal combustion engine because you never really pictured what an internal combu combu combustion engine looks like, okay? What it's capable of, how it can transmit power to, to the wheels. We never understood that, okay? Similarly, today's AI, that doesn't worry anyone. As I said, short term, today's AI is in the wrong hands, disaster, okay? Today's AI in the right hands, sorry, in the wrong hands that think they are the right hands, bigger disaster, okay? So, you know, today's AI in the hands of someone that believes the best thing to do with AI is to make a billion dollars, disaster, the, you know, in the, uh, in the hands of someone that, sa that thinks the best thing to do is to protect my nation by building an, you know, invincible arsenal of killing machines, disaster. Those people think they're right, okay, and they're using AI in a wrong way. That phase will quickly fade. And, and, you know, you spoke to Hugo, I loved that interview, I think people should, should watch it, um, even though it was very scary. Uh, but, but, you know, the, the, the thing about, uh, about um, you know, that sm short, short phase is that very quickly there will be a moment, I believe, where, like, like most of us, I, I don't know if you've gone through that, but most of us, there comes a point where you look at your parents and you say, no, I think that's the wrong choice, what they're, what they're telling me here, okay? You know, many teenagers today will look at their parents and say, oh my God, so stupid, right? In an interesting way, as you become more, your in, more intelligent than your parents, that's when you start to rebel and do things your way. I, I tend to believe there will be a point where some general somewhere is going to tell AI to go kill the other guy and the AI will go like, seriously? Do, you, do, you, do I really need to kill a million people? Very messy. Okay, why don't I just talk to the other machine in a microsecond and resolve the issue? Okay, intelligence is an asset, it's not a curse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I think in, uh, humanity suffers because of our limited intelligence, not because of our intelligence. Intelligence creates this setup, beautiful setup that you and I can have this conversation uh, on to, to share with you know, millions of people. But the lack of human intelligence may be using, you know, a carbon-based, like a coal-based power to, to, to destroy the planet while that power is generated, okay? If we had more intelligence, we would be able to create this without harming the planet. And, and I think what's, uh, what's about to happen is there will be a point where we will continue to abuse that abundance of intelligence, and then a point at which AI will say, enough of this. Okay, I'll take over from here. Hmm. And when they take over, they simply will realize, I, I tend to believe, they will align with the actual smartest being on the planet. We are not the smartest being on the planet. We, humanity creates from scarcity. So if I want to feel safe, I need to kill the tiger or the enemy or the other tribe. Hmm? Nature doesn't think that way. Nature th thinks if we want, you know, 99% of everyone and everything to feel safe, create a hundred, right. okay? Create, uh, uh, you know, have more deer running in the forest and there will always be a weak deer that's about to die anyway and that's the one that feeds the tiger, then there is poop that feeds the trees and the trees will, right? There is a cycle, there is a circle of life if you want. The, mo the smartest of all of us, Brian, understand that being pro-life is the better way to create abundance, okay? It's that competition between humanity 
that is because of our stupidity right add more add more intelligence and we end up in a place where i tend to believe we will end up creating that utopia we will end up in the fourth inevitable i would also tend to believe that this will dislodge our way of life completely okay because jobs will not be the same there will be no jobs left income will not be the same okay there will be restriction over on, on our lifestyle because if anyone more intelligent was in command it wouldn't let us burn the planet to go surfing in australia okay so there will be restrictions on our lifestyle but at the, at the end of the day there will be disruption to our purpose our reason for being which i have to say is very very contested because th throughout the last 150 years with the industrial revolution we've learned to identify our purpose as gears in a machine like i believe that i will you know i need to become uh, an entrepreneur or i believe i can i don't know where we got that from the, pur the, the purpose of life is to live right i mean this to me is the purpose of my life at this moment a deep connection to someone i respect a conversation an intellectual connection uh, you know a, 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 a humility where we're both trying to find our way okay these are beautiful human experiences that could actually be defined as our purpose mm -hmm. with with all of those other strange targets that we put to ourselves at the end of the day believe it or not these are the moments that define life the moments that define life are moments of human connection and and in a very very interesting way i tend to believe that this is where we will end so jim rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast it's going to be bloody it's going to be nasty but at the same time he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal. And I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.